I've always really been into go fast cars. You can just go out and drive the wheels off it and have a big time. There is a, well, why, why did you do that? Why not? <laughs> when you drive by in this, people will go, did you see that Willys pickup? My wife Marcy and I, we started our shop out here on Marcy's family farm uh, about 35 years ago. We build a hot rod shop in the middle of wheat field and they'll build it and they will come. And they did, <laughs> so. Hidden 20 miles from the nearest town is the Oregon oasis of hot rod fanatics and brilliant builders, Billy and Marcy Holton. They love crafting cars, and this 1953 Willys Jeep pickup is no different. Giving it a complete restoration was one thing, but Billy wanted this car to reach its limits. And to do so, he needed one hell of an engine. I built it originally in like 2003. Done a bunch of modifications for it. I lowered it and put some modern suspension under it. It had a 134 cubic inch flathead four cylinder engine in it, and it was a four wheel drive. When I bought it, the engine was dead, and now it has a 302 Ford V8 in it. I've just never been into smaller engines. There's guys that put in V6s and stuff, but if you're gonna do it, do it big. We put the bodies on rotisseries that we've just done extensive modifications to the transmissions and engines and heating systems and, and various uh, custom custom paint stuff and uh, over the years. Just hours and hours of labor into them. This was just an old farm truck laying in a weed patch, and we, you know, turned it into this. The hood here is a 68 Camaro hood. Underneath the hood, we got a mid-60s style uh, 302 Ford. It's got a line lock on it, which means it can lock up the front wheels so you can do burnouts. We took the fenders, and we split two fenders and widened the fenders so they're double width. It's got a nine inch Ford rear end, which is just real heavy duty. It's like doing the, the flames to kind of go with the car. Instead of just having just a hard contrast of like black with red and yellow flames, I like to do things with a, a color coordinated. And pretty basic on the inside. We put a set of Wrangler bucket seats and then just modified the floor. We built a, a custom gauge panel and put custom gauges in it. Tilt steering wheel in it and to go with the C4 automatic transmission and power brakes. We have a Low car shifter. This looks like an old style four speed type shifter, like in a truck, but it's actually a push button automatic. With all those customizations, the V8 engine really tops it off. Well, Americans love the V8 power just because of the rawness of it and the, the feel of the horsepower. It was about 100 just a couple minutes ago. <laughs> it does go down the road pretty good. All the neighbors wave at me because I'm the only one out here that's doing this type of stuff. <laughs> There's always somebody, somebody else that's faster than you, but I'm faster than you. I believe the engine is the car's heart and soul. If the engine in this vehicle was, was more tame, was it milder, it just, it wouldn't be as much fun.